If you're like most people, you probably assume that when you toss a plastic bottle into a recycling bin, it will be processed and turned into something new. But the truth is, only a small fraction, 8% of plastics, get recycled. Here's what really happens to your recycled waste. The first culprit to America's recycling problem is called wish cycling, the act of discarding something in your recycling bin with the mere hope that it actually gets recycled. After collection, plastics, paper, metals, and glass are sent to a facility to be sorted, cleaned, and processed into materials that can be used to manufacture goods like newspapers, plastic laundry detergent bottles, or even carpeting and asphalt. Materials become contaminated when they are misplaced, like when a dirty food container gets into the recycling bin instead of a trash can. That can prevent large batches of materials from being recycled. They usually just end up being incinerated, dumped into landfills, or washed into oceans. The U.S. exports a lot of its recyclables, mainly plastics, overseas, simply because it's not profitable to recycle here in the States. Since the 90s, China handled the recycling of almost half of the planet's materials. The country's manufacturing industry was booming, and it was cheaper to reuse the world's scrap plastic in order to make phones, bottles, sandals, and other products. But in reality, 30% of these materials were never really recycled and ended up polluting China's countryside and oceans. An estimated 1.5 million metric tons of plastic was dumped into the ocean off China's coast each year. In 2018, China's national sword policy banned the import of most plastics, so the U.S. started shipping plastic waste to countries even less capable of handling it. Soon enough, more than 180 countries banned plastic imports too. So the U.S. started sending its waste to other Southeast Asian and African countries, where labor is cheap and environmental rules are lax. One study found that plastic waste exported to Southeast Asia resulted in contaminated water, crop death, respiratory illnesses due to toxic fumes from incineration, and organized crime. But following China's ban, the cost of recycling in the U.S. skyrocketed, forcing over 100 cities to scrap the recycling program altogether. Since there is no federal recycling program in the U.S., it's up to America's 20,000 communities to figure it out. The good news is that some cities are making progress. For example, Austin, Texas requires that all large construction projects reuse or recycle at least half of its debris. In San Francisco, residents must separate waste into three streams, landfill, recyclables, and compostables, keeping 80% of waste out of landfills. 